Hi and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. Today we would be discussing this problem. In this problem, we are given a BST. So now, what is BST? Before diving into this question or other understanding this problem statement and then solving it, let us first understand what is BST. So BST stands for binary search tree. Okay. Now, what is binary search tree? How is it different from a tree? In binary search tree. The left side should have nodes smaller than the root. Like suppose root is having the value as 5. So the left side should have 4. It can't be 6 or 7. And the right side should be greater than that. So you can remember this that the boss is always right. You can rephrase it like the boss is always right and he would be our view. So, on the right hand side, the value would be more than. So, left side would obviously be the smaller one. This is how I remember. And if you don't have any way, you can integrate with that. So, now each should follow the above two rules. Like all the subtrees, sub nodes of the subtrees on the left as well as on the right should follow these two rules. Okay. So, now we are done with the definition and we now know what is binary search tree, what, what rules and regulations does it follow. Let us move back. So in this given binary search tree, we need to delete the nodes that are more than x. So we would be provided with a value x. So like suppose x is equals to 2. So we need to remove all the values that are greater than 2. So we would remove this value because 4 is greater than 2. We would remove this value because 9 is greater than 2. And we would return this value. Okay. So by seeing the problem statement, we know that we need to iterate over the tree. And we need to see the value of the nodes if it is less than, if it is less than, see, we need to delete the nodes. So we can say that delete greater than equal to x. If we need to delete the greater than equal to next, then we need to preserve less than x. So what we can do is we can just iterate over the tree. And values which are greater than or equal to x, we can directly remove them. And whatever will be left, we need to preserve them and we would just return them. Okay. So now, to traverse the tree, we have three traversals. Okay. The first one is the in order traversal, where we travel first the left part of the tree, then we travel the root of the tree, and then we travel the right of the tree. And in pre-order, we travel the root first, then we travel the left part, and then we travel the right part. In post-order, we travel the left part first, we travel the right part first, and we travel the root at the end. So how do, how do we remember this? So you can remember this, that if in order is there, that means we are in order. Okay, so you can see that the left part would be there, the root would be the head and the right part would be there. So in pre-order, pre means first doing it before it. So before means that the main part would come before it. So you can say that uh, pre-order means this would come before. What would come before? The main root would come before. Post-order means it would be after that. So what would come after that? The main thing would come after that. It is the root itself. And you can say that this side is left and this side is right. So left would always come before right. So you can say that. Okay. This is how we are doing. So if, if you don't know, you can see and do it. So in order, if you do the in order traversal of a BST, it would provide you the result in a sorted form. Like if you do an in-order traversal of a BST, it would provide you in a sorted form. How it is? So I would just show you, suppose this is 1, this, suppose this is 9, this is 1, and this is 10. So let's do the in-order traversal. We would be first visiting the left part of it, then the root, and then the right part of it. So we would be given with 1, 9, and 10. That is how we are getting it. Okay, so if we are doing the in order traversal and we are getting a sorted value, okay, that means suppose we started off, just let us visualize this, which kind of traversal would work. So if we do the in order traversal, if we do the in order traversal and we edit the root, okay, 
So suppose before returning the answer, so we can say that before returning the answer, we need to return the root. So before returning the root, all my values which are greater than or equal to x should already be removed. So if I want to return the root, that means all the values greater than that x should also be already be removed. We should already done the editing, then only we would provide the edited clip to the contractor. Okay. So now suppose we want to do this. So if in order is doing the sorted ordering, then post order would do the reverse sorted, sorted reverse. So we can simply say that it would provide us the sorted reverse, like it would first be sorted and then the reverse of it. Okay, like from high to low. Okay, so if we talk about in order, if we talk about in order, then suppose we would edit the value 9. So if we are editing the value 9, okay, so 10 is still not processed. So we need to choose a traversal technique where we need to process the root at the last and all the values which are greater than or equal to should already be processed okay so suppose if we have the sorted order like 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 suppose let us draw the uh, let us draw the bst also how do we draw the bst we just the most with the least difference or the least height would be divided by 2 take the take the middle element okay that is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 okay so 5 and 6 would be the minimum element so we can take either of them so we would take 6 okay then the values which are greater would come here and values which are smaller would come here okay this is how we would do so suppose suppose 6 is the value Okay, that is given. Suppose x is equals to 6. So we need to remove all these all values that are greater than 6. We need to remove all these values. So we need to process the values before the current value. So if we do the in order traversal, then we would see these all values first, but we don't want that. But if we do the post order traversal, post order traversal, it would help me to see these all values first and then we would see the last value. Suppose, agar hume 6 se zyada values hatane hai, to agar hume log bade se chote mein aayenge, to jo values 6 se bade hai, wo already hum encounter kar chuke honge. Do you get what I am saying? So what I am saying is, if I am trying to remove the value greater than 6, if we do the post order traversal, then all the values which are greater than x, we would have already seen that. So the by the time we would reach to the root, by the time we would reach to 6, all the values greater than 6 should have already been processed. That is why the in order traversal won't solve the purpose. We need to move forward with post order traversal. So post order traversal would be our savior. So now what we can do is we can simply do a post order traversal and we can start deleting the elements and then we can return the value. So if you are able to figure it out why post order is the most eligible person or the most eligible thing to do in this, then this problem becomes a easy problem. That is why it is tracked as the easy problem. Okay. So now let us move to the implementation. I would remove myself. So now what we would do is if the, for the traversal thing, if it is null, we would simply return. So we would say if root equals to equals to the null value, we would return null or the root because either of them is same so to be on the safer side we return the null part of it okay and then root of left will be whatever that is returned okay so i would simply copy this thing so delete node of this then root dash left and then the value k would remain the same then root dash right is equals to delete node root dash right and then k would remain the same now after left and right is done that means all the values which are greater than root is already processed so now we would edit the root itself 
सो इफ रूट इफ रूट रूट डेटा इज ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू द वैल्यू के If the current value root data is greater than the value of x, what we would do is we know that if the current value suppose this is four, so this side should be three or two or rather one, and this side should be five. So if this current value is x, so x is equals to four. That means that these values are not important to us. This value is only important because this side value would be obviously greater than. If this value is equal or greater, this side, right side में जाएंगे तो greater ही मिलेगा. So जो main बचेगा, the main thing that is left is the left part which would be smaller than the value x. Okay. So what we would do is, if the current value is greater than the data, then moving on the right hand side, taking considering the right hand side is not of any purpose. So what we would do is we would store the left hand side. So node star temp is equals to root dot left side of it we would store the left side of it and then we would delete the root we would delete the root and then we would simply return the temp because the current root is greater than that so left part would be the part that would be smaller than that okay so that is what we are doing and then we are returning the root okay so let us compile and run and see yes get we are getting a correct for sample test case Let us try to submit this and see. Okay, we got an AC. So now let's talk about the time complexity too. So as this is a traversal technique, we are visiting each node. We are is it visiting each node exactly one. So this is big O of n. Okay, and this deletion and all is also taking big O of one. And this compare comparison is also taking big O of one. That is why the time complexity of this approach is big O of n, and the space complexity as we are doing nothing. as this is the recursive one so we can say that the space complexity is bigger of one now let's see the desired time complexity in the space complexity yes we have so that's it for today thank you and have a nice day if you face any difficulty regarding understanding of this question feel free to ask it in the comment section thank you everyone